today we will discuss crossing over in chromosomal basis of inheritance chapter 3 in botany so we, in previous uh, uh, videos and all we discuss about the linkage the last video kinds of a, um, a linkage there you have seen the differences between crossing over and linkage now you know you must know the definition of crossing over so crossing over is a biological process that interchanging the corresponding segments between two non-sister chromatids of homologous chromosomes. So you must know non-sister chromatids in this video that is in this uh, uh, image you have two different colors. So four chromo chromatids that is four chromosomes are different and four uh, uh, other four are different. different. So that different that is the red and the blue is different so they are non-sister chromatids so they going to cross over you are seeing the picture of crossing over mechanism here so the, the these two that is the same one it is homologous chromosome of different color and another chromo homologous chromosome of different color they that is the cross the small segment is going to interchange that is called crossing over and the crossing over the term crossing over was coined by Margan in 1912 they may ask in one mark so when the crossing over takes place means in meiosis 1 or prophase 1 in packetin stage the crossing over takes place so this also they may ask in one mark in which stage the crossing over takes place means meiosis 1 of Packer, that is prophase 1 of packetin the crossing over takes place and that is the crossing over is of two types meiotic or germinal crossing over so germinal means germ cells germ cells means gametes gametes means the sperm and ovum or egg so the sperm and ovum in that the crossing over takes place means that 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 is the in the gametes only the reduction division will takes place that is meiosis takes place so we can say that as meiotic crossing over or germinal crossing over the germ cells are sperm and ovum so we can say it as germinal crossing over and another it is it is occurring often that is the meiotic germinal crossing over is often and it is universally seen in the gametes and the another one is very rare mitotic or stomatic crossing over so in mitosis it may occur very in rare, very rare condition it may occur that is in the, the mitosis leads to the body cells formation so in stomatic cells that the in that uh, kind of a crossing over takes place means then it is called mitotic or stomatic crossing over mechanism of crossing over so crossing over includes the stages following stages that is first stage is synapsis tetrad formation cross over terminalization so first we will see the diagram this is the mechanism of crossing over first you can see the tetra that is tetrads that is in before that the synapsis means pairing of homologous chromosomes. So this, this one homologous chromosome and this one homologous chromosome. So the, um, that is the homologous that is non-homologous chromosomes are paired. That pairing is called synapsis and, in, and the, uh, at what stage it takes place means it takes place in zygotin stage. Okay and the next stage. After the bivalents are paired, the chromosomes, that is the chromosomes forms two different, that is two sister chromatids, this one sister chromatids and this one, but collectively we say it as non-sister chromatids. So non-sister chromatids. So that time it forms tetrad. After bivalence, the, chromo the chromosomes, the bivalent chromosomes or chromatids divides to produce four that condition is called tetrad condition. After that crossover condition, that is the two non-homologous chromatids, non-sister chromatids meet at a point. That point is called chiasma. 
where the crossing over going to takes place and this stage takes place in the that is the crossing over takes place in the pactitine stage of meiosis 1 of prophase 1 i say it in the year first slide in the first slide i had explained to you about it so after that that is after crossing over that is in the chiasma place the two non sister chromatids meet and the cross segments are interchanged so after interchanging so they have to separate little so that stage takes place in metaphase 1 and so many stages after the so many stages in the metaphase 2 the two chromatids that is non sister that is after crossing over the two in chromatids that is the segments are interchanged they are started separating so they are started separating after crossing over the chromatids are separated and after the, the last stage the meiosis in meiosis you will get always four daughter cells the last stage from the chromatids they got terminalization they got separated into four daughter forms that is from that is the parental form and the middle you have seen the recomb that is crossover takes place the crossing over takes place form is the recombinant form and this that is the separation of the chromatids takes place no this is called terminalization so this the, the in diagram we have seen no that we going to see here in in a theory form synapses or synthesis so synapses may be called as synthesis also as i said the pairing of homologous chromosomes is called synapses in which stage it takes place means zygotin of prophase 1 of meiosis 1 it takes place so based on the synapses there are three types of synapses procentric proterminal synapses random synapses procentric center means what middle point if the cross that is the center point in the center point the pairing occurs means then it is called procentric synapses proterminal synapses means at the terminal that is the chromosome's terminal point is telomere the telomere place the crossing bow that is the synapse starts then it is called proterminal synapses random synapses it may start anywhere so the synapses can occur anywhere that is called random synapses so synapses means what that is pairing of homologous chromosomes in which stage it takes place zygotin of uh, prophase 1 of meiosis 1 how many types are there procentric Pro terminal random pro centric the centric please remember the centric means center point in the middle the synapses takes place means that is pro centric pro terminal means at the terminal that is at the tip of the chromosome tip terminal means tip and random means randomly it takes place random means at a, where it can take place anywhere anywhere the synapses occurs means then it is called random synapses next is tetrad formation you can see the diagram here that is in the picture you have seen the tetrad formation so that is the bivalence the bivalence two the two chroma the, the bivalent chromosomes becomes four uh, that is four chromatids then it is called tetrads crossover so crossing over takes place in packeting stage and where it is takes place two non homologous chromosomes that is non sister homologous chromosomes non sister so they are different chromat chromatids are going to take part at what point that point is called chiasma so chiasma and the synapses and chiasma formation that is higher organized structure filamental so they form that is the synapses and the, the pairing of homologous, homologous chromosomes and the chiasma point forms a complex. That complex is called synaptonemal complex. They may ask in two marks. So what is synaptonemal complex means? The synapses and the uh, chiasma forms a complex during the crossing over. That is called synaptonemal complex. 
So the synaptonemal com complex, this is absent in male drosophila. Male drosophila. Because there is no crossing over. Because they have closely linked genes. Because of closely linked genes, there is no way for crossing over. So it is absent. Remember, they may ask in one mark. Uh, it is absent. That is, synaptonemal complex is absent in male drosophila. And you can see here the synaptonemal. That is, they had picture. They had put a picture of synaptonemal complex here. So this portion is the synaptonemal portion. And same way, you can see the recombinant. That is, synaptonemal complex here also. So this this is a structure. How the synapses and the chiasma. Uh, come in contact with each other and how they forms the complex. Next, the terminization. So, after crossing over the chiasma to move towards the terminal or, uh, and of the chromatids, end of the chromatids. So, the com that is complete separation of homologous chromosomes occurs. So, terminalization means, so, you are uh, daily you are coming from home to school and you, the evening you are going no, to home. That is called the, the starting point. The terminus is the your home and you are coming to the school and again you are going to home. That is called terminalization. Like that for, uh, for um, cell division, the chromatids come to one point from one point to one point. After completing the crossing over, it moves to the point where it comes from. So that is called terminalization and it is the end point of the crossing over. And from that you, you get the daughter's chromosomes also, homologous chromosomes also. So there are types of crossing over. So there are three types of crossing over based on the number of chiasma that is formed in the crossing over. So based on the chiasma formation it is uh, divided into three types. The first one is single crossover. So you can see uh, that is this one is the single crossover takes place in only one chromosomes. Only one chromatids and these two are free. This one and this one are free of crossing that is free of crossovers. So in a single so only a single thing occurs then it is called single crossover. The double means you have two chiasma formation occurs. Two chiasma formation means two crossing over occurs. That is called double cross. That is double cross. So single cross means formation of single chiasma. Only one chromosomes can that is out of four one can occur and that is involved in crossing over. So double crossover. So you can see here two chiasma formation. Two chiasma formation means two or three four stands can involved in this uh, that is involved in the formation. So double crossover, double chiasma formation, two chiasma formation and multiple crossover. So you can see here one chiasma formation and here one chiasma formation. So more than two chiasma are formed in a crossing over then it is called um, um, then it is called multiple crossover and it is extremely that is the crossing frequency is very less so very less the crossing frequency is very less uh, okay very less so more than three or two it is called multiple crossover importance of crossing over it is an important five mark question so as i talk about the crossing over in linkage and chromosomal basis of theory of inheritance. There also I talk about the crossing over helps in the raw material for evolution. And it shows the genes are arranged linearly in a line order only on the chromosomes. The genes are located on the chromosome in linear order that is line order only it gives the evidence. And the genetic map or made based on the frequency of crossing over. So as we see in the crossing over here, we have seen the frequency is very low no, in this, in this that is in multiple crossover. Like that, the based on the crossover frequency only, we can able to calculate the genetic map. Uh, and it is easy to understand the nature of mechanism of gene action. So what are the genes action are going on? That mechanism can be easily studied with the help of crossing over. 
and it is used in plant breeding so with the help of crossing over new plant products can be new, new plant varieties hybrids can be produced in the field of plant breeding i have given some of the questions related to the topic define crossing over discuss the mechanism of crossing over with the help of the diagram and the points you have to discuss is synapses uh, synapses and uh, a tetrad formation uh, crossing over terminalization these are the four points you have to discuss in the mechanism of crossing over and types of crossover is uh, uh, single double multiple crossing over and write the importance of crossing over it is a very very important question so um, so you uh, you uh, you read, you study well the crossing over Thank you for watching the video. If you have any doubts, post your doubts in the comment box. Please give a thumbs up, share and subscribe to Science Easy Tech channel.